everyone, it's Katie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another story time video. I did one of these a couple weeks ago and I thought I would do one again just because I love these kind of videos. I watch them like all the time. They're my favorite. They're so entertaining. I don't even know why, but they are. I guess it's like story time, like fun time. I don't know, but I just love these and everything like that. So today's story time is going to be about the time that I fractured my arm. So I actually do have pictures from when this happened. So if I can find them, I will put them on the screen and everything. So let's just start off from the beginning, obviously. So when I was seven, I fractured my arm. I actually fractured my left arm and stuff. So the way this happened is kind of funny and typical because I'm so clumsy. But that day, my um, my brother, my mom, my dad and I decided to go to a park and play. And actually, this is at like a school park. So like it was at the school and everything. We just went to like their playground and everything like that. And and so they had monkey bars there and I'm like very clumsy and nobody should have let me be on monkey bars. Let's just point that out. Like why was I allowed to be on monkey bars when I, my parents knew I was clumsy? But you know, they were watching me and everything. They were just like, okay, okay. To get on the monkey bars, you stand on this like bridge thing and then the monkey bars are right there in front of you and then you just put your arm on and then you kind of just grab the other one, grab, 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 grab. But anyways, yeah, that's what you do. I got to the bridge thing. I walked on up to it and I grabbed the first bar and I put my other arm on that bar. And then I was going to reach to get the second bar and I fell. And the drop is probably like a three foot drop or so. Like it's not too big. Like it's three or four feet. It's not too much. Maybe if you fall, it might hurt and everything. So then I I fell. I like grabbed the bar and then I... my. I went to put my other arm I went to put my other arm on that bar and I fell like off bars there was no like I wasn't on them anymore I was just on the ground and then I get up and I think my parents ran over to me and they're like are you okay and then I remember getting up and holding my left arm to my side and running to the car and running to the car like running to the car <laughs> and so I did that and I was crying running at the same time like and I remember this and everybody denies it but it happened okay then I think eventually my brother my mom and dad were like okay we need to go home so we go home and everything we get inside and everything. I'm sitting at our kitchen table and I'm obviously in pain I'm like very much in pain I'm literally just sitting there with my arm like plopped on my me and so then my mom mom's like okay like my mom was kind of like oh she's fine she'll be fine and my dad was like um maybe we should take her somewhere like urgent care or something I don't think she's fine so my mom called urgent care and I remember my mom being like can you lift your arm up and I was like no my arm like I cannot move my arm it hurts really bad can you move it in any way and I was just like crying being like no I can't move my arm and so then my mom got me to urgent care and everything. Urgent care is like not a fun place because you always have to wait a long amount of time and it's always when you're younger you're just like this isn't fair like I should get to go in now. I'm in pain but really that doesn't matter. So I remember getting there and they gave me a couple ice packs um and I put my arm on those and then and I put my arm on those and I remember my mom picking up like books and reading books to me and I remember probably waiting in there for like an hour and a half to two hours like a really long time I just remember waiting in there for a really long time and everything and then finally I got back there and everything and you know they do what they do at urgent care and everything and then I and then they ordered like a series of x-rays and everything because obviously I like broke or fractured something they just wanted to make sure I didn't break it or that I didn't need like surgery or anything like that it wasn't like major major so got an order of x-rays and I remember like just sitting in the like extra room and it's kind of like I can't I have to sit in there by myself my mom can't be in there with me just because it's an x-ray and stuff and so and then I think I think orthopedic doctor saw me and then they said okay you fractured your wrist I actually fractured my wrist it was my arm but I always call my arm just because it's easier than saying you fractured your wrist so yeah I fractured my wrist I actually my left wrist which was good because I wrote with my right hand I just keep in mind 
time. This was during the summertime, so this was good. I wasn't in school. I so then once they told me I was fractured, they put a... I think I was in a sling for a couple days, and then on Monday or something, they put me in an actual cast. But I had this purple cast, and I had to wear it for six weeks and everything, just so it was healed and everything. I couldn't really do much with that cast. Literally, I couldn't swim in the deep end. When I went swimming, I had to literally be in the shallow end, which was a pain because I'm the kind of person that likes to like swim a lot and I like to just like be in the whole pool. And I didn't really have like the cast, like the waterproof cast for like children at the time. They only had like the adult ones, so that didn't work. So I had to basically just be in the shallow end. And I don't remember doing much over that summer when I broke my arm. And then I wore that for six weeks and then it came to the time where I got my cast off. They, I remember when you get cast off, it feels really funny. Cause you've had the cast on for all this time. So it's all sweaty and everything and it's just weird. And so when I got it off, it's basically they take this like almost saw looking vacuum thing to get off your cast. And it's really weird. Like when you get it off, it feels so weird. It feels like they're suctioning your arm and stuff. Then I had to wear this like, not a sling. It was like a cover for my arm. I don't know what they're called, but I had to wear this like fabric-y like cover for my arm for I think another six weeks or a couple weeks or something like that. And I had to wear that all the time. And then I was on the road to recovery and my arm was all healed and I was all good. I could go on with being a regular child and everything and yeah, yeah, that was my experience of fracturing my left wrist and you know that was just crazy and what's funny is before I, before I like fractured it I was thinking wow I've never broken a bone and then like maybe a month later I break a bone which is crazy like what I don't know but you know I have very great memories for this and actually so yeah that's it for my fracturing my arm experience kind of thing if you liked it please give it a thumbs up if you thought it was entertaining please give it a thumbs up also subscribe there'll probably be a floating button around on the screen somewhere and also um don't forget to comment down below your story time like stories if you want to share those also comment down below any other videos you want me to do next and i will see you in my next video bye